you're tuned in to another tutorial by Mommyish, showing you how to create plaid patterns in Photoshop. Hi, this is Leah from Mommyish, and sorry I'm a little hoarse, I'm getting sick. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to give a short tutorial on how to create plaid patterns. Well, basically I've made a set of patterns, um, which is basics number 24, and they're just all plaid patterns. And when you open up the files, it's going to look like this, and you're going to be like, oh my gosh, false advertisement. This is not what plaid looks like. But um, what I, I thought a better way would just to be to include like a little tutorial or a little file. Um, most of you probably already know how to do this, but if not, um, how you make really nice looking plaid papers. So here we have, this is just the plaid number one. And when you open up the file, you'll notice that each one is grouped with colors, like the top four are green and the bottom four are yellow, um, and the numbers correspond. So the top four is taking off that green one, and the bottom will take off the same green. You see? So when you recolor it, you know, all you would do is just double click or whatever and, you know, recolor your layers the way, however best you like doing it. After you've recolored and you have everything matching the way you want to, you're going to select your top four layers and you can either change the um, layer effect. I find the best are linear burn or multiply. So um, just so you'll see what that looks like, multiply looks like this. Linear burn is just a little different like that. Um, and then I change the fill and usually I turn the fill down to maybe 75% like that. So that's linear burn at 75%. This is multiply at 75%. Um, it's really just preference. Then I go to the bottom four layers. I select all four again. And um, I did multiply in the end there. So I'll do multiply down here as well. So multiply. And then I'll change my fill to 75%. You'll notice that I'm changing the fill, not the opacity. Um, I'm not sure why I do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I like my brain's like fuzzy. I'm like, I have no idea, but, um, I'm sure there's a good reason here. Let's see. I'm going to change the fill to hundred percent and then change it to opacity of 75%. I think the effect is different and I think that's why I don't like it as much. So let's see, or maybe it's exactly the same and it's like all in my head. What do you think? Looks the same. Yeah, it looks the same to me too. Oh, well, so there we go. Um, and then you have your background, right? So it could be any color. Uh, you want to note that anytime you're using the multiply command or a linear burn command, it's going to be taking that plus multiplying it, if you want to think of it that way, on top of the color that's already there. So typically when you're doing a plaid paper, depending on the, um, the effects that you're using, you're going to want to try to keep that color a lighter color. Um, so for this case, I have it a very light creamy color. You could do just pure white even if you wanted to. You know, that just changes it very little bit. But just so you can see how it would change if you, you chose a darker color, if I chose, for instance, like a brown, it would look wonky. See? Yeah. Be like, what is this? Um, <laughs> in which case, I'm assuming that what you could do is just turn it back to a normal mode and play around with your opacities. Um, I just personally, I don't know. Let's see, normal, there we go. And I mean, it works, right? You know, but for lighter colors, you're gonna definitely wanna use your linear burn and your, your multiply. So that is one example. I'm working on something in the background, so you'll see that soon enough, I'm sure. Um, I'm just opening up a different one of the plaid files. Again, it has that same look, all you would do. I mean, you can even just change the effect just on the top four layers and leave the bottom one normal you know, once you've colored the, the different layers to be the coloring that you'd want. But, you know, just switch either to multiply again or to linear burn again. And um, again, you can mess with the fill or the opacity. I choose fill usually. And there, that, that's it at 50%. I like the way that one looks. Yay! And that's it. That's like really easy plaid papers. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Oh! Oh, and also, I mean, it is like dual purpose, right? So if you didn't want to make plaid out of it, you could always um, just turn it back to normal, colorized layers. You could turn off the view of the bottom four and then just have a striped paper, right? Yay! <laughs> so anyway, to match, you know? Like who doesn't like matching things? All right. 
Have a fantastic day and enjoy this uh, set of patterns. Yeah. Bye bye. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you for watching. Subscribe to keep up with all the latest tutorials and tips.